Hello community. How can we outperform OpenAI Deep Research or even outperform Manus AI? We have a brand new idea. It's called Alita. It goes down to the DNA of our AI agents. And yes, we will compare it here to a rack MCP. Interested? Then let's start this video. We start with a paradigm shift in the agent design itself. So we have a new idea to have a minimal pre-definition right at the start, but have a maximal self-evolution of our agentic system. And we achieve this simply by the dynamic capability expansion via an MCP, our model context protocols. We just implement it in an intelligent way. Alita doesn't just use your tools, it autonomously creates the tools, it refines those tools, it reuses them, it stores them by generating here task-related, so really absolutely narrowed down MCPs from open source information like GitHub libraries. And then Alita sets up automated environments and does a validation of the code. So we do have here a key mechanism of a self-evolution with its dynamic MCP generation pipeline. So whenever here the system faces here a functional gap, Alita says, oh, I don't have the tools for this. I'm not clever enough. I have to find here new ways to increase my intelligence as an AI system. Simple. It searches here for relevant code on the internet, synthesizes here MCPs, configures their runtime environments and validates their utility. Encapsulated, stored, create here a self-expanding, reusable library of capabilities, and we move beyond a mere tool invocation to on-demand tool synthesis. How good is this? Before we have a deeper look, is it worth looking at it at all? And here we have the Gaia benchmark data, and you see here for level 1, level 2, level 3, and then here the average, the total, Oh yeah, so OpenAI Deep Research has this performance, Manus AI has this performance in orange, and blue is the system that we are going to talk about in this video. And if you look here at the total average, I have to say, this is a nice performance jump compared to Manus AI or OpenAI Deep Research. How is this possible? Let's have a look. For those of you who are not really familiar with Gaia, the benchmark here for general AI assistance, November 2023, beautiful from FAIR, meta-hugging phase, auto-GPT, you find all their methodology over there. So I told you we have a new paradigm. We have a minimal pre-definition. We are really light at the start. We give the, if you want to robot our AI system, very few basic tools, and it will introduce you to all of the tools we're going to use here. And then we have agents, and we start only with two agents. We have the brain, if you want, the manager agent. And then we just need access to our knowledge source, to the internet. That's it. So we have a web agent. This is all that we need. You might say, but is this possible? Yeah, because we will apply a maximal self-evolution. We will teach you the robot how to create, how to code new tools for itself whenever it needs them and only when it needs them. You don't start with 10 or 15 tools you hardly use, I don't know, in 20% of the cases. It is not just about using the tool. It is designing them for a very specific query whenever you need them. So this is here the classical image that you have. No, a traditional here generalist agent. We have a web agent. We have a path general classifier. We have a URL text extractor agent. We have an image capture agent. We have an agent for here the zooming in. We have other agents, we have a YouTube caption crawler agent, and we have here the central intelligence, the manager agent, and all of this we activate, we start up, we boot up, and my goodness, we have an overhead. If we have a simple task, we don't need all of this. So let's move on to a much simpler, a litter. So what we have, we have a web agent, and we have a manager agent, and this is it. And now whatever is my query as a human user, now the system starts. And the manager agent has to have the intelligence to create tools. Go to the internet, go to GitHub, create code, validate, set up an environment, and create the tools necessary to solve my task. 
So MCP creation, then we put it here in a toolbox, an MCP box, I love it. And we have a self-evolving system, minimal pre-definition, maximum self-evolution. And I think it's a perfect time to introduce you to the original study here, Alita, May 26, 2025, by Princeton University, Tsinghua University, Shanghai Jiatong University, University of Michigan, Tianjiao and Krisi Zhen Institute, and the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Beautiful group here of authors, brilliant study, a generalist agent enabling here a scalable agentic reasoning with a minimal predefinition and a maximum self evolution. Have a look at this study, it is absolutely amazing. And you know what? I'm gonna tell you a story because we are humans and humans love stories. So, what is it all about? You have a task. Alita is giving me a problem like find the number mentioned in a particular YouTube video after the dinosaurs appear. So, we have a brainstorming session by Alita and the manager agent now, the central intelligence, thinks now, hmm, I don't have a built in YouTube subtitle extractor. I need to create one, I need to code one. So, it goes to the web search, web agent. Web agent searches your online, Google, GitHub, how to get YouTube transcript or Python library for YouTube subtitles. Might find here open source library, yeah, YouTube transcript API. Then it generates here a tool, a script. Using here an LLM, GPT-4, Omni, or whatever you have, or a Sonnet, it writes a small piece of code, let's say a Python script, and it uses the library it found to perform it a specific action. It also figures out how to set up your decoding environment for the script, like how to install the YouTube transcript API. Then it will test this tool. So it runs this new script in a safe, isolated space, simply to, say, to see if it works. And if it works, and if it provides here exactly what it wants, it says, hey, great, so now I saved the tool as an MCP. So Alita wraps up it neatly and saves it in its MCP box. So this new YouTube subtitle crawler MCP now, if you like call it this, is now our new tool and we can use it whenever we want it without rebuilding it. And it solves the task. It uses the newly created MCP to get the subtitles, find the dinosaur scene and extract the number. So you see, it's kind of a self-learning system. No human intervention at all necessary. No software developer, nothing. The beauty is that it isn't limited to a predefined set of tools, no? like in MCP Rack. It can adapt to new tasks by creating here specific tools that it needs, even from a multitude of GitHub repos, if you have the LLM, the core of your uh, manager agent, if it's intelligent enough to distill it and the necessary pieces together, it just creates the tool that it needs. And this is done in real time. And as it encounters more diverse problem, it evolves here a richer set of capabilities with the help of more complex solving tools. So you see, it's a relative simple idea, but the complexity is simply shifted to the ability to generate complexity as new tools that can solve the complexity as required. Beautiful. No monolithic agent with thousands of built-in functions. So no problem to handle task it has never seen before. Out of distribution, not a problem at all. Whatever, if there's some piece of information it can find online, it can write the necessary code for itself. What is also amazing, the distillation functionality. If the MCP auditors creates can be shared now with other much less powerful agents. So if you have a little, I don't know, mini or you have here a DeepSeq R1 distilled or whatever to a 3 billion free trainable parameter model, you still have access to MCPs or letters created here for the specific task. So if you want the intelligence to solve a particular query, is now outsourced to our MCPs, our tools that we use, the little LLM just need to understand, hey, this is the problem, I have here a tool for this particular problem, I bring them together and this is it. An agent with a weaker LLM can benefit from the MCPs generated by an agent with a stronger reasoning LLM. Beautiful. So here you have it. This is it. 
So we have here a human question. This is great. Our manager agent here in the minimal configuration. Yeah, if it's really the minimal configuration, it, the MCP is relatively empty. So you have, if you really start from zero, you have a little bit of a warm up phase. But hey, if you have two, three tasks, you will see, you will fill up your MCP box real fast. Manager agent analyzes did MCP creation. Yeah, let's come now to the tools. Let's have a look. So we will have a MCP brainstorming tool. We will have an open source, open source searching functionality, a script generation, a virtual environment execution here of the code. We will encapsulate it and put it in a MCP box and have a self-evolving system. Simple, beautiful. So let's start. I just wanted to show you. You don't have to find this paper. This is here the RAG MCP paper. I love this paper. And yeah, from May 6, 2025. And they say our RAG MCP enhances the efficiency and accuracy of agent. Now, it is not the classical RAG system that I showed you in one of my last videos, but now we're retrieving the most relevant tools from a large collection of tools from a database of tools only. So we moved away from text-based databases or numerical databases. Now we go here to a higher complexity level of objects that we have now, the tools. We have a RAG MCP. Great. Yeah, Aldita itself. I'm a little bit early. As you see, it was just updated two hours ago. They are loading now in the figures. So whenever you come here to the GitHub repo, you should have the code. You should have much more bone uh, meat to the bone here. But for me, yes, I can see that they're uploading currently. So please have a look yourself whenever you see this video. There should be much more information for you available. You know, this sentence, hey, don't just give AI tools, teach a human how to make a boat. I mean, how to teach an AI how to make tools. No? So we shift here from a static capability of an AI system to a dynamic self-improving system where we have an on-the-fly programming of the necessary agents itself. Agent create agents, agent can clone other agents. This is kind of, if you want, the DNA here of the agent replication itself to build specialized agents. Agent create agents. Who needs human? Alita is about building here an AI agent that learns and grows by figuring out how to build it its own solutions. Such a beautiful idea. We dash off into the fractal dimension, but let's stick here with the particular publication because I wanted to show you the basic set of tools that we have here. So you remember, minimal predefinition, maximal self-evolution. We have a manager agent, the brain, and the brain needs a little bit of something. It needs some basic tools, and the web agent has also access to the internet. Let's have a look at the tools. First, our brain, the manager agent. This is the central coordinate. This is really all about, we need here one primary agent within the framework of Alita. So we have here, when given here a prompt, the manager calls here an MCP brainstorming tool to determine whether additional tools are needed, if we have already something in our MCP toolbox, and which specific tools are required at all. If the manager sees the task is too complex, it starts to decompose the task like any other LLM into particular a lower linear complexity subtask, dispatches them maybe to the web agent to find solution on GitHub or wherever you are familiar with this copilot and generates then the required external tools. In builds up the environment, tests it, validates it, great. Utilizes the information from the web agent to retrieve these new tools. Uh, the environment configuration instruction and beautiful. So let's have a look. The MCP brainstorming. Since LLMs often exhibit some overconfidence, you know, they think, yeah, I can do this. And they decided here the team to introduce MCP brainstorming to conduct your preliminary capability assessment by providing both the task and the description. And specialized prompt facilitates self assessment of the capabilities. Beautiful. We have a script generation tool. This is simply the code building utility. GitHub links, it builds everything. And the script generation tool generates now the environment script to create here the required environment for the code running. And you know it, Lex2 code running tool executed within an isolated environment. If everything is great, if you get a green light, says beautiful, this is the expected result. The tool is registered in a system and as a reusable MCP tool. This is it. 
Summary, brainstorming, script generation, code running, as easy as can be. I think what's really nice is the self-enforcing, self-reinforcing cycle. And Alita has here really the power to autonomously expand its capabilities. Maybe from time to time a human should have it. Look what's happening. But otherwise, it will be its MCP tools in a beautiful way. The web agent couldn't be easier. Guess what? Retrieves the relevant information from the external sources. Retrieval of domain-specific code. You can imagine this beautifully. We have a simple text browser. Go with whatever you want. We have some control tools. The visit tool, the page up tool, the page down tool. Then you're not going to believe it. We have the Google search tool or the GitHub search tool. And yeah, you can imagine exactly what happened. Now to the detailed benchmark data. They have tested two. They have tested Alita on the Gaia on multiple levels in the total and on other tests here, and they went with a classical Claude 3.7 Sonnet and a GPT-4, one they said, okay, well, there's a new Sonnet 4, I love it, with the include here the latest model to give you here a benchmark. And if you look here at the benchmark, you see that with Claude Sonnet 4, the performance of the system in an opposite 3 breaks down from 96, it, it crashes down to 88, and they say they, they tested everything, they did multiple times, they don't understand why suddenly with a Sonnet 4, the performance here drops from 96, which is a beautiful performance, no? of a Claude 3.7 Sonnet, and with the Sonnet 4, it, yeah, it crashes down. But in total, they can keep it from 86 to 87%, so we are, yes, beautiful, but they say they continued with the Claude 3.7. Maybe we should learn from them. In general, they say, but careful, if you go with a less intelligent agent where an LLM is not as powerful in coding. And they say, let's say we just go with a four mini system. You see now, if you do the same Alita system, on each level we have much less performance. So the coding performance of our LLM, and if you go with a mini or a three billion or a four billion model, this is not recommended. You need a strong performance in coding because the LLM, the agent here, is coding here a lot of. So you see, with the classical 3.7 Sonnet, 72%, and here with a GPT-4 Omni Mini, only 43%. So this is important. Plus, you have to get, take care about the complexity of the MCP generation. While the concept is self-evolution, the actual process of searching, scripting, and environment managing here for complex novel tool is still really error-prone and computationally intensive. So please choose the right LLM for some real heavy task. I know it is a challenge that you would like to go with cheaper, much, much smaller models, but as you can see here in the performance data, they are hardly worth it. I like this to end this video with the conclusion from the authors. This is a screenshot from their conclusion. And they say, hey, we introduce here Alita, a generalist agent designed with the principle of minimal predefinition and maximal self-evolution. And by significantly reducing here the reliance on manually predefined tools and manually defined workflows for the direct solving, Alita leverages here a creative autonomous capability in real time, facilitating scalable agentic reasoning. It's a beautiful idea. We have seen it before, but... If I get my hands on this code, I love to try it out. It demonstrates simplicity in design, does not undermine, but rather enhances the performance and the adaptability of generalist agent. So nice, next step in the evolution of our agents. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Alita, really going down to the DNA of agents, agent creator of the agents. And as I showed you here, if you go here with a very lightweight structure here right at the beginning, you don't have to carry in your startup configuration with multiple agents. You start very light and you just build up what you absolutely need. What an elegant solution. What a simplicity here in the startup configuration. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hey, why not subscribe? And I see you in the next one.